Hey guys, um, I'm going to show you how to make a mood board for your website. So, first thing I'm going to do is, I've, I've got a bunch of things open already, and most of them are in Photoshop. So I'm going to go to Photoshop, and um, I've gathered a few different images of things that are inspiring to me, and help, might help articulate the look and feel for my website. So the idea that I have in mind is to redo the look and feel for my blog site that I have. So what I'm going to show you first is a screenshot of what the blog looks like. So I don't like it because it feels a little bit too generic. The white, um, the all caps looks a little bit, um, it looks a little bit uh, too harsh. I'd like to have kind of a softer, warmer, more organic look to it. So I've gathered some images and I have some ideas in mind to try to help articulate the look that I'm going for. So we can start by, in Photoshop, creating a new document and I'm going to use one of the presets. So I'm going to do web and then 1020 by 768. So this is a typical size that you might start designing in when you're designing for the web. So I'm just going to start to bring some of the images in here that have inspired me. The first one is this um, illustration. I don't know why, I just liked it. It just felt really kind of whimsical and fun. And um, so I'm going to select, what do I keep doing? That? Select all and copy it. What? Edit, copy and go over to my blank canvas here and paste it. So it's a little bit big for the space, but that's okay. You can see that it's coming in on the top layer. I also like, let me just save what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna save this as my mood board example. Okay, and I'm going to bring in some other elements. This piece of linen material I really liked. Bring in that. <laughs> Not the same image, sorry. So let's bring in that linen material. I'll copy it and I will paste it here. What am I doing? This is ridiculous. Okay, let's select it. Edit. Oh, get layer one. Edit, edit, copy, edit, paste. Okay, there's my linen. What happened to this guy? I must have deleted that. Copy bring it over to the mood board and paste. Okay, now I have my two layers in there. Um, I'm also thinking other colors that I might use. I might want some help picking a color scheme. So a great site to use is this site called Cooler, which I have up here. And Cooler lets you um, create color palettes. So um, here what I've done is I've uploaded this image that I really liked and based on this image, Cooler generated this color palette for me. So that might be a set of colors that I want to work with and I kind of like these colors. I can also select the mood and brighten it up a little bit, um, deepen it, darken it. I like the bright version. So I'm going to select this. To get these colors over to Photoshop, what I could do is I could look at each one of these colors. Well, I could save my theme and do all of that, but the easiest thing to do would be to create a screenshot. So I'm on a Mac. I use Apple Shift Control in the number three. Um, that took a screenshot of this entire screen. So I'll go over to Photoshop and just paste it, and here's my entire screen, which was much more than I needed. I just wanted these colors right here. So I'm going to scale it down. Um, and if you're on a PC and you're trying to do a screenshot, 
all you have to do is hit the print screen button. So there's a print screen button on your keyboard. You have to hold down shift to, to make it work, but it works. So I'm just trying to resize this screenshot image and I've distorted it a little bit, but that's okay because I just want these colors. So I've got kind of a strip of colors. So I'm going to grab these and inverse what? Hmm. Inverse my selection and delete. Okay. I don't think I got, see, I still have stuff around the edges, but I'm going to turn this around. So here's my strip of color that I like. I'm just going to arrange these things kind of artfully. And now my linen sample looks kind of neat. Maybe I will. Uh, I've got all this other stuff in here. Okay. So let's take my linen sample. And let's see what this looks like maybe layered underneath all this. So I can alt drag this to duplicate it and create a whole bunch of linen. And that looks kind of nice. So I have this linen texture, this strip of color. Um, I have my graphic here. This guy right here. Kind of neat looking. And then I might want to create some type. Um, maybe I'll generate my type in this color right here that I grabbed. And I think I want to have a typeface that is kind of um, organic looking. So I'm going to just type out the name of my site to get a sense for what this, this will look like. The name of my site is Machine Embroidery Peak. And it looks pretty good on the linen as well as on the white area. So, just for fun, let's duplicate this type and create some type over here in the linen area. Just see how that looks on the linen area and maybe in one of the different colors like this off-white. Ooh, that looks good on the linen. Okay, so I'm imagining maybe the menu items are on the linen, so let's just mock up about and I'll move this strip of color over just a smidge Just to give us an idea of what the type's going to look like in different areas. And now my machine embroidery geek type is a little bit too big for this space. But okay. So this is a start to give me an idea of what my site's going to look like. I've got a color scheme, I've got some type chosen. The only other thing I might want to add is how I might treat images. So maybe I want to. Um, bring an image in here and apply some kind of filtering effect to go with this whole look and feel. So let's just grab a photo. Um, 
I'll grab an image of someone sewing. Um, and to give my site, let's just take something like this. And I might want to stylize this image a bit um, before I bring it in to my mood board here. Um, what if I uh, applied some filters to it? So I'm going to put this in a separate image and let's just see what we could do to it. Let's see if we filter, stylize, maybe we want to. Um, Maybe we want to add some noise, or maybe um, do some just let's see some artistic effects. That's kind of too dramatic, too dramatic. But this dry brush has kind of a cool look. Maybe I want to have some stylistic, not that I don't think. Kind of a cool look. I think I like the dry brush effect, and I can add more or less texture. Okay, and now I'll copy and paste this back into my mood board. So it's just a little bit of a stylizing of my image. So I hope this gives you an idea of what to do for your mood board. It's really just a way of pulling some visual ideas together to try to articulate a look and feel for your site. So um, at this point, if you're working in Photoshop, I would save this as a JPEG and upload it to the course. Thanks.